Good morning, this is Travel Man of Kent. Today I am at the Sittingbourne and Kemsey Light Railway. That sun is in my eyes. Anyway, today we are the behind the scenes day and I'm here bright and early, 9am, to see what's going on. Let's get that intro rolling. So yes, today we are at Sutton Bourne and Kempsey Light Railway for their behind the scenes day. So we get to see what's happening on the railway, what's going on in the railway and what's going to happen in the future. This is going to be very interesting. Dropping off the partway team. Now going on to the viaduct.
Okay, so another one, we've got another event coming up in the next couple of weeks, which will be a week and a bit after this video comes out, which is called Jack the Station Cat. So it's the final uh, adi the final st story in those books, because unfortunately the author actually passed away recently and the book's just been finished off by uh, amongst other people. Um, but whilst you're here, obviously Jack the Station Cat will be here and you can t talk to the illustrator whilst he's here for the day as well. So bear that in mind if you've got nothing to do in the area or you're... you're you've got nothing to do on a Sunday, feel free to come down here and meet Jack the Station Cat. So you see this bit of track here? This is where the oldest picket named Bear was sitting previously until it's now been transferred to the Buckingham Heritage Centre. Uh, which I'll provide some photos just in just a second so you can see what it used to look like. Now with the fireless loco, fa fireless loco facing this way, the idea is now is to get these, these rails here to two, two foot six inch gauge and then put the, the uh, other fireless loco which is situated just over there uh, and then have them back to back. So it'll be a nice little, little, little uh, bit to have on, on the rail. And another thing is, there's a five inch gauge railway here. Absolutely brilliant. If you want to volunteer, contact them on Facebook. Now, ever since been in the area for the past nearly four years now, no, three, nearly, yeah, uh, it's going to be three or four years, but anyway. So in all the time that I've been here, this little five inch gauge railway has never ran. It's only turned until recently where they've been able to acquire a battery loco to actually run a little passenger services on, on this little line. And what is fantastic is that they've created a little passing loop. Brilliant. You know, despite the size and the length of it, it's still got a passing loop. Absolutely brilliant. I'm definitely going to get try and get a ride on this today. If not, I'll just get some footage of it running. There's the plaque from their award last year for Premier's uh, reignoration to Steam, and they won the award for the Heritage, the Heritage Railway Preservation, and they won the award for the new build, or what's the word, overhaul of the year. Now you're probably thinking, Upna, hmm, it's a castle in Upna. What does this have any relevance to? Well. As in the day, uh, Upna still has a Ministry of Defence uh, presence as we speak today of the Royal Engineers. And uh, back in the day, it had its own little railway, and one of these coaches used to run on that railway. Fortunately, there's not much to uh, see of that railway anymore because obviously a lot of it has been tur turfed up, but there are some remains dotted around the uh, around Upna to show you that there was previously a two foot six inch gauge railway. Um, now this is one of the low carriages that they've got in stock here at the Sittingbourne and Kempsey Light Railway but I do believe they have another three or four coaches which I'll try and point out to you throughout the video today. Uh, but just give you a bit of insight, it wasn't the only one in the area. So when I was saying about uh, the other fireless loco being back to back with the one that's basically, basically over there, this is it here. So basically what the idea is, is that they're going to get it to a cosmetic uh, condition where it can be sort of sitting outside without any harm. Uh, and that is one of the plans of the railway is to get this back into cosmetic, cosmetic, uh, uh, can never think of 
That's it, cosmetic restoration. That's the one. And amazing to say, they also have a model railway village. Um, obviously, as today, it's not currently running, but they do run on special events. So I'm led to believe as well, if you have a, a train in this size or a loco in this size, whatever loco it is, if it's diesel or if it's steam or anything like that, I'm sure you're allowed to run on this railway, you know, with permission of the railway itself. So if you've got one that needs a good run in or you want to run it for the day and, you know, make sure there's a bit of a crowd there, feel free to contact Sittingbourne Kemsley Light Railway on Facebook, Instagram or their website. Um, and I'm sure that they can come to some sort of arrangement for let you to, to let you run on this this little rail line. Fantastic, because I've only ever seen it run a few times. And as you can see, left, right and centre, people are working on stuff to get stuff ready. Note there. Absolutely fantastic.
If you haven't signed up to the Sittingbourne and Kemsey Lights Railways newsletter, I highly recommend it because you missed the announcement that this new disabled access platform is ready for use as you can see today. So anyone that's disabled now has fully accessible means to the railway to get on and off, both here and at Kemsey Down. Fantastic. And disabled access toilets. Don't know if you ever got that far into my last one of my last videos at the East Kent Railway. Um, some more southeastern benches, fantastic. So we're just waiting for the train to depart. Um, I'm back in the brake van again, as you can tell from the previous clips. Uh, so I'm just going this time round. I'm not going to film anything. I'm just going to enjoy the ride. Another coach from the Upsnow and Chatterton Railway. A railway that thousands and thousands of people pass every day going through Sittingbourne station not knowing that there is a heritage railway in Sittingbourne. This, this is another one of those places that needs to have or needs to be put on the, on the map. And uh, speaking to a couple of the engineers driving Melia today, um, they have said that pre in, when this railway was being used by the paper mill to transport paper from here to Ridden Dock, or to the main line these locos were being thrashed they were doing more or less 40 miles an hour up that stretch of line back up to the to Sittingbourne can you imagine what that would have been like to see that day in day out brilliant when I say they're thrashing it they are thrashing it because they've got 14 of these carriages Ugh. and when I say thrash it I mean thrash it because 14 of these wagons would have been one one there would have been behind one of those locos stacked with paper, rolls of paper can't imagine how heavy that would have been and then for them to be thrashed day in day out again just yeah take me back to the 60s please So 
now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do a shed tour and get some info as to what's happening with the locos, and uh, we'll go from there to see what happens. It's a shame, though, isn't it? So as you can see there, Premier sitting in the shed, resting for the day. Absolutely fantastic loco and obviously thanks to this loco, this railway won the Heritage Association Award for, for overhauls of the year, the year before last. Absolutely fantastic to see this loco up and close sitting there today. Brilliant. I'll try and find a shot of it, I'm sure I can online. So what I'm gonna do is obviously, the loco you see today is as you would have seen it in 1905. So hands, you know, hands up to the railway that they've kept it as original as possible once they've had it overhaul. And it's just brilliant to see it in its original form because it's very rare you see a, a, a loco in its original form these days. The train's just pulling off, so I'm gonna quickly go just go and catch that filming. Let's go have a look. So you have Triumph and Superb, uh, both sister locos and are currently out of action at the moment. But this loco here is currently being worked on to get back it, back in running uh, and on uh, revenue service. So, you know, all, all donations and contributions to this railway are going to help this loco get back up and running as soon as possible. Um, I mean, it'd be fantastic to see this loco because I, I believe this is the loco that I used to go on when I was a kid. So, if anything, let's try and help this railway out. The one thing I've noted most about this railway is the volunteers. What? I know I say it with a lot of railways, but again, what fantastic people. Very, very helpful, very knowledgeable, and uh, brilliant people to be around. Because some of them have, were, were around, obviously, when the line was used as a line for the paper mill, but just can't, yeah, just can't beat a, a heritage railway with, with volunteers, eh? It's just one of those days, one of those days where you just, yeah. That's all from Travel Man of Kent today. Absolutely fantastic day at the Sittingbourne and Kempsey Light Railway. Can't thank them enough for having me around today and letting me go all into all the areas that they never usually do. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you very, very soon.